Mr. President, I want to thank you. This has been a tremendous honor. And I call you a friend. Thank you. This was one way to steal the headlines. Donald Trump flying to Mexico City to meet with the country's president, Peña Nieto. Encontrará en México. This was stepping into the lion's den for the Republican candidate. For Trump has insulted Mexicans, promised to deport 11 million undocumented workers, and made a massive border wall his signature policy. We recognize and respect the right of either country to build a physical barrier or wall on any of its borders to stop the illegal movement of people, drugs, and weapons. 1,500 miles to the north, and you can see the human cost of a dysfunctional border, where there are routine scenes of separation and heartbreak. This man is struggling to touch his wife through the thick steel grills, finally reduced to kissing the tip of her finger. And nearby, Yosinis is simply trying to make physical contact with her mother. We can only touch the pad of her finger, you know, <laughs> as opposed to, you know, meeting your mom every weekend, every day. Build that wall! Build that wall! To millions of angry and fearful Americans, it is the outlandish promise that has turned Donald Trump into a folk hero. Build that wall! Build that wall! Build that wall! Build that wall. The existing border wall is 600 miles long. Trump proposes an impenetrable 2,000-mile barrier. If built, it would be perhaps the greatest construction project since the Great Wall of China. But could such a wall even work? Not according to the agents who patrol it. They point out that desperate people will always climb it. This was video shot of smugglers effortlessly scaling it. Am I good to go? And then there is the other way. Okay beneath the wall. You're going to go all the way down to the second landing on that same line. Okay. I was granted access to a smuggler's tunnel that was built under the existing wall until it was discovered by chance. Mexico that way, US of A that way. The great debate about the value and the practicality of a border wall will rage above ground. But down here, you get a unique perspective. You understand that those with the resources, the hardened criminals and the smugglers, will always find a way through, or in this case, under the border. The profit margin is absolutely astounding. They can push 64 ton 32 tons of marijuana through here at a going rate in there, make about $60 million in one go. But most of those who seek to cross are like Enrique, simply in search of a better life. He has just been deported from the US and vows to return, to be reunited with his four children, who remain in California. No, jamás. Este, ninguna barda, no hay... I will cross, he says simply, because I must cross. It doesn't matter how dangerous it is to me. Enrique later looks longingly over the fence and back to America making absolutely clear that no border wall, however formidable, will ever deter him. Robert Moore, News at 10, on the U.S.-Mexican border.